Hello everybody, today we're going to make a chat bot that records user emails and puts it on a sheet and then sends a confirmation email of your choice. So we're going to use BotPress for this. I'm going to create one node here from a blank, blank template. I'm going to put an email capture. I'm going to ask them for their email address and then we're going to create a variable that stores the email. So it's going to be email, then press enter, it stores it. Then we're going to create an expression for a transition. We type true in there so it always transitions. Make sure there's no space so it works. And transition it to a new node which is going to be the Zapier webhook. So we're going to create a Zapier success variable right now as well. And then we're going to create a execute code block in the Zapier node. And then we're just going to paste a ChatGPT generated code for the Zapier webhook to work. So in that code, you just have to replace your Zapier URL here with your webhook link, which we'll get later. I'm going to put update email variable, which is unneeded now just for my code that I was doing. It's more for advanced for maybe for another video. Then when I add a text, we have sent a confirmation email to uh, email. So this will just, it's like a feedback. So the customer knows that the email was confirmed and it works. Okay, now we're gonna go to open a Zapier. We're gonna open Google Sheets. We're gonna set log in and set it up. So Google Sheets, create a new sheet, name it, um, format it a little bit, just so it's more aesthetic. Um, make the first row because that's where their email is going to go, email address, and then we're going to go back to Zapier. We're going to create a new chat, zap here. We're going to make the trigger a webhook link, so webhook by Zapier, event, catch hook, continue, skip this field, and then we're just going to generate a link, copy it, paste it in a new tab so we can confirm it works by testing it. So we're going to press test trigger after pasting it, and now it should give us a request. Yeah, there we go. So continues with record. And then action number two. Do Google Sheets, event, create spreadsheet row here, continue, connect your account. Then you have to select your Google Sheet, so fill it, fill it out the information. It should be there automatically. If it's not, keep refreshing until it is, if you just made it. Leave the email address feed field blank, press next. And then we don't have to test. We're just going to create a new action for the actual email to be sent out. So we're going to create a new action for Gmail. We're going to put select send email, but we're going to go back first because we have to put the webhook into the code. So we're going to copy and paste the webhook, paste it into the code where it says your Zapier URL here, and then we're going to talk to the bot. We're going to give it a temporary email just so we can, Zapier can know what we're talking about when we say email. So we're going to do that, and then we go to the back to the test we tested and press find new records. And then the email will pop up. We'll continue with this record after selecting it. And now we can continue spreadsheet actions, and then we can fill up the field that told you to fill, keep blank with that email. So now whenever someone types an email, it will know what we're talking about and write it down. So now if we test it, it should show up in the sheet, and it does. Awesome. So now we can continue for the Gmail. So the Gmail, we just write to the email that was recorded, and that's it. It's done. And you can fill out this information as needed. I don't need to. I'm just testing, so I'll just put uh, from us. And I'll fill up the subject name with hi, and I'll test hi. Um, and then the body, I can fill it out as well. Let's put I like Red AI. Done. Awesome. Now it's done. So now we just continue. You can test if you want. We don't need to. It works. Skip. And then we just publish. And as we wait for it to be published, um, by the way, thanks if you made it this far. I appreciate you guys watching and taking your time. Um, I hope you learned something from this. If you guys have any more requests, please reply in the comments below and like this video if this helped you. So I'm going to test this out now. So I'm going to get a temporary email and uh, publish the bot. I'm going to open the bot in a new tab as well and then copy and paste the temporary email so we can know it works. And then we're going to talk to the bot. Say hi, please give us the email we can contact. We give them the email. And it says we have sent a confirmation email to that email. So now if we go to that inbox and we wait, we should see the email pop up. There it is. Subject I like ready. So it works. Awesome. So I'm going to put the template and the code in the description. And I hope you guys like this video and it helps you. Um, if you have any questions, please comment them and I'll try my best to answer. Okay, bye.